guys and girls welcome back to my channel and today i'm gonna be playing this game called alan awake i know there is a second one i know guys but i need to know what's going on before i go to the second one especially with this type of games i don't think i can actually skip i don't even know if they're gonna be saying anything about this one on the next one if that makes any sense and i don't even know if it's gonna be long enough and i don't i just don't want to miss the whole storyline i don't want to miss the whole storyline uh i know it says continue ga uh, game but I don't even know why it says that. I haven't even played it. It is there. But I haven't. I don't even think I have even tested. I don't know why it says that. It just comes like that. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, guys. Thank you so much. Without you guys, the channel does not grow and it continues to grow. Okay, so, you guys, thank you so much for that. Be said, let's get to this. Psychological horror game? Is that what we're dealing with today? All right. Enough talking. Let's get to this. And is that remastered? So I'm, Stephen I'm, King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. So he's a writer. <laughs> That's what I can say, guys. But this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. There we go, Alan. Awake to ready to play. Now I gotta get this one done first, though, guys. Desperately trying to. I just really bought it. A lighthouse for some urgent reason. I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think, uh, yeah, definitely way too late. The he guy. Was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. He's gonna run away. Ah. <gasps> He's alive. Oh, what? But look at that. Look at the car, though. His body was gone. But the vehicle. Episode one nightmare. Definitely a nightmare. From the crash, I could hardly stand my feet. I like the name. Okay, look up to the light. I look up to the right. Reverse your controls for looking up and down. Should I put this? I don't know. I So like if I put yes, you can change camera settings. Okay, it doesn't go back. I thought it was going to go back. I messed up. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to here. Reverse. Oh, where is that? Where is... No. <laughs> That's not what I want to. Graphics. That's not what it is. Yes. So I think should be back to... Okay, so okay. So I had him reverse. <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it meant something else, guys. Hold down. <laughs> okay, L1 to Wow the game though. <laughs> I stay fit. Stay fit. Stay fit, my friend. We are running and we are staying fit. The lighthouse. Oh I knew there was something in <laughs> the We gotta to the light we gotta go to the lighthouse. Get to the lighthouse, checkpoint reach. What I just barely started and we get a checkpoint. This is what I'm talking about. Yes, we are getting checkpoints. <laughs> Let's be serious, guys. Let's be serious. Get to the lighthouse, man. All right. Get to the lighthouse it is. Wow, it looks good, guys. It looks real good. 
So, so far, he's alive and has a gun with him. Oh, no. You don't even recognize me, do you? I don't get to that. I'm going to the left. Oh, what? I'm sorry. I didn't want to kill you. But you're alive, my friend. You owe me money because you vented my car. <laughs> you vented my car, dude. You can dodge enemy attacks. Okay. You can't well done. Thank you, my friend. Now what? Try it again? No. What is this supposed to be? I practice with this guy with his... Oh, nice. You miss, my friend. You suck. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Is it on his head? How can that be... So some of the characters from the story that he's been writing on, they're alive. Checkpoint reach, thank you. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what I'm talking about. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own pollution? Of your own illusion. The light. Like every time I'm going forward, He's getting tired. Get to the light. Get to the light. The light. Guys, I've been playing games like this. What is going on, man? Well, reality is it real or not real? I want to see this though. Wow, this looks so cool. Okay, let's get inside. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get inside. Oh. oh no! Hitchhiker's back. Stop! No! God damn it! Die! No! No! no. Oh no! His head is... His head is missing. The hitchhiker is trying to get, get, get to the lighthouse. He's trying to get in. How, I, wait. He's trying to get in. How do, oh. What do I do? We got eyes on the TV. Open this door. He got inside. Getting the cooler. Oh, what the? Guys, where do I go? That took. Wait, that took life. I didn't even do. Follow the light. Follow the lights. I am going into the lights. Stay in the safe haven until you're completely healed. So that well done. that gives me it's life. To tell you. It goes what? Like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. No. I do not understand. Like, why is a light talking to me? Okay. That's all I have. The darkness protects him from all harm. He's in the light. What are you talking about? The darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Thank you. This burn the darkness away. Oh. 
Okay, what am I doing? You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still oh. a threat. He is still your enemy. But how do I take the gun? I Okay. I thought I had a gun already. So you gotta get him with the flashlight first. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. <laughs> Are you talking to the sun or whatever that was? A terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Okay, Alan. Follow the lights. We got zero. Wait. We need to get some more. What is it? Be faster? I cannot. Oh, to reload. You can't do it. I'm not. A... <gasps> okay. What are they? But look at the. La okay. First of all. Hey, wait! You miss. Can you? Can he still get me in here? Haha. <laughs> Just like. Oh. You don't want to. I don't think I, I want to fight every single one of these guys, really. They took the light. Chalice! We gotta run this way! I was really gonna say, how do we. Dude, this guy's getting tired! My stamina, where's my stamina? That's all I get. I'm getting tired. There's something in there. Let me see what this is all about. Coffee. Oh no, I don't even need it, it's gonna kill me. I just wanted a coffee. <laughs> it's getting inside the lighthouse. Oh man. Only for one, so apparently we're like a murder for somebody who it was a ghost, and I'm a writer. He's here. Something got inside his mind. Alan, wake up. <gasps> Shh, baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Was it really a dream? Okay, so far we started and I'm already confused. But that was a lot of action though. That was a lot of action. Wow, the game looks good. I can't imagine how the second one is gonna look. I saw some images and I could have done the um like the trial, but I'm not doing the trial, man. I better do this what's right. I want to play the whole thing and I, I just can't, I just can't guys, I'm sorry I can't, I gotta do the whole thing. It's one of those games that yeah, I think you gotta know the whole thing, what's going on. Welcome to Bright Falls. Wow, like I said guys, I can't imagine how much, this, how Let's good this. Like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Right, okay. 
So I'm gonna stand with this. I don't even know this guy. Right. Hello there. Sir, I'm gonna take a picture right here. Can you? Just two weeks away. You're can... fast, huh? Did you hear that, honey? She's just taking pictures. If you don't mind me saying, I'm Pat May, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me, Mills. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you do have a lovely holiday. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna take some pics, okay? I'm gonna take some pictures right here. I don't know, Alan doesn't seem to be... Not that nice. <laughs> He's like... I don't know, he, he could be like, okay, yeah. Or maybe sometime, but I don't know. Nice. The answer... I, of really good ones. And I, see you made a friend. That's cute. I don't know if she, she was paying attention, but I don't think that was kind of friendly. Yeah. Very. Yeah. We just got it. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you've been relaxed and charged. So, how is the place? Have you gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? <laughs> Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. All right. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Get back to the vehicle, okay? So, which one is my vehicle? This one? Are we gonna be driving in the game itself? We need to stop at the local diner no. to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stucky. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in say 15 minutes. Sure. I think Alan has some sort of. I... Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. He seems like a good dude, but the, his patience, right? I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. He doesn't have pa fine car stucky. When they took it out of the window. <laughs> and to keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. I don't know, man. I don't know what you guys think. His attitude. <laughs> Maybe he's just tired. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. Because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee. Do me a thin... favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? <laughs> Let's help this guy. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> did we do it? I think we did. Fine car. Anyways. That gets stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid Excuse me. Mm -hmm. What about the in there, young man? What? You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find stuck Did she <laughs> the key and get out as soon as possible? The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. That's come on, dude. 
that's kind of messed up. She really doesn't want to get inside. That's kind of weird. All right, so we can't get inside here. Obviously, we can't get in there. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Huh. Oh. Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good <laughs> stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Okay, creepy lady. <laughs> Check for beach. Okay, leave that diner. Yes, I'm gonna be leaving the din uh, diner. Special Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Uh huh. And look at that lady still looking over here. I mean, if I see this time, young man, you can hurt yourself in the dark. Yes. You know why? Oh, I can get hurt. I can get hurt by that lady in sight. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> he fell asleep. <laughs> splendid, splendid. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. What you want me to do? Dude, I'm gonna go to... I gotta leave the diner. Wake. Mr. Wake, nada. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! The key? Your, your keys! <gasps> oh, no. That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> so we're going over there. What? Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're What's supposed that? to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Was okay. I supposed to get those keys? Or was it part of that? Bad man here on PBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. Oh, what? I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Oh. That's my last book. So he's been off for two years. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. He's, he's tired, gassed out for being a writer, right? That's kind of what it seems to me. Diver, diver's eye. It's gorgeous, Alan. What they put the music so horrific? Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia, the fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. What? Wait, what? Wait, he's still going based for what? Well, apparently, on the dream, he's going based on that. He said he wanted the lights. I guess that really affected him mentally. If that is the case, then we should have a gun. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Yes, I will figure that out as soon as possible. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? Is, is it, is it... What I'm thinking, is it a he... As a writer, has he, uh... Oh, oh, what? Check this out. So apparently, we still have a gun. I mean, we still have the light. So we're still going based or the rules that Yeah, we still gotta go based on the rules, I believe so. The Deerfest guests have already started to arrive. Just 
Why she don't want to help me get the light on though? Why it has to be me? I'm wondering why he's not saying anything. Not saying anything about what happened earlier on his dream. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. <gasps> huh? We got zero. All of a sudden. What? Because. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. Oh, sure. Let's follow the story. Let's follow the, the narrative. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s or even earlier. So there's gotta be a box on the bottom. We might have to go to the bottom. He's the one saying his own story. Tell me, dude, if you know how your story's gonna end, then tell me where the box is. Because I don't know what the box is. I don't know. That guy, that deer does not know. I don't know. No one knows. I think it's gonna be on the bottom, though. Right here, right? One of these ones. No? Nope. He's definitely not saying anything. Even though he knows the story himself. There's gotta be something in here. She's not gonna be happy if we go back. No, that is not right. This is as fast as we can actually run. I can't run any faster. She's waiting for me. Where? Oh, it's that one. Okay. And if you know, you could have helped me in here. It's going to be a confusing game. But I already, I can already tell. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Let there be lights. The island sure had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. I didn't press anything. He kept on talking then. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here. Sleep here. And forget about my work. Yeah, but your work is gonna track you, I my friend. We could be happy here. I wonder what kind of stories these guys uh, mm -hmm. writing to the point that... Because apparently he said that the, the, the guy that he saw at the beginning of the game, he wrote about him and he became alive. But that guy seemed to be pretty creepy. Return to Alice. All right, we got to go back to the house. We getting some pizza for lunch, for dinner, whatever you want to call it. Alice, honey. What? I was. I want my pizza, <laughs> my cookie. She, there's no food in here. We are separating. We are separating. There's nada. Alan, I, I'm upstairs. I turn on the. For you. Okay. I was thinking about leaving. Oh, whoa. Well, let me close the eyes on this deer right here. You gotta close it. <laughs> Go take a look. <laughs> okay. What is the surprise? Go to study. Go to study? Yay! <laughs> All right. I like this studying, I guess. Okay, so what? We go. Surprise! Alice, what is this? <laughs> this is not what I wanted, he says. Confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn, Alice, you, everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. 
He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, <laughs> it's not like that. That's not... Oh. Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Wait, she gets afraid. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think. Oh, she's so... Wait. <sighs> Is her that is afraid of the dark? What? For what? Why? So it's her. Damn it. He's, she's trying to get help. He does have some sort of problem. Alice? Uh oh. Alice? Oh no. Alice! That's messed up. It had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alan! Alan! Where are you? Help! Alice, I'm coming! It's all right, I'm coming! No! Alan! What the Help hell? Me! Alan! I'm trying to run, guys, but reality is. <gasps> we got birdie birds attacking me. Alice? I don't think. What? Wait a minute, could she even be real? Maybe it's on his head. Well, this is in his head. Oh no. Oh, no. <gasps> Not, <laughs> Not one, but twice. Keep going, Alan. <gasps> Wake up. Alice? That voice is keep going. Wake up. We were gonna jump into the water, and that's where we Waking left off. The crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. And now we're in a vehicle. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. I, 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 I it seems like. Alan has lost his freaking mind. I gotta, I gotta use my vehicle, guys. I know it's, it's, it's dangerous, but I gotta use the vehicle. It says something here. Hold on. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. <laughs> I agree with that, though. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not taking the book, obviously. Now we can the run. station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Reach to the gas station. Damn. <laughs> there goes my vehicle. I haven't even paid the car yet, man. I don't know if I want to wake up from this dream. If I wake up from this dream, then I still gotta pay for that vehicle. I don't. I, I'd rather be asleep. I'd rather be asleep, really. I just barely bought it yesterday, and I just <laughs> I destroyed it. Hello, someone there? Wow. Good thing I ended up playing this game first than the other one, man. There's no way I'm gonna be able to catch up on this on the second one. No way. The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. He's the murderer? Could he be the murderer? You found... Manuscript pages, you can access them. Okay, let me double check on this. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Wait, what? A, what is this? Departure by Alan Wake. Wow, we're gonna be going. Okay, 
I think that's him. I think this is him, missing page. Which, okay. I think that's him. I don't know, I'm saying too much right now, but clearly we might be the bad guy. <laughs> Unless everything's on his head and none of this. Anybody there? Yep. Please. I've been in an accident. There's someone in there, which is pretty sorry. I've been in a car accident that I didn't do. I just woke up and I was there. And we're in the middle of the mountains. Look at the view. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. I keep forgetting we got that radar that can help us. For some reason, I don't. So far, the mechanics are smooth. Anybody there? Really, not Please. that hard. I've been in an accident. Hey, hey, you! Phil, there's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Whoa, Carl Stucky. Please to meet you. Non-refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. He's one of the characters that we probably wrote. I think I want to go back to writing and where's this guy? Where, where is he at? He's oh no 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 no. I kind of want to fix the story. Look at this guy. What kind of book are we writing in here? <laughs> He's watching me. Go ahead and hop in here. What? He's gonna be able to get inside. Out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe, like Nicholson in The Shining. Oh, he's gonna get it now. He's going to get it now. I made you on my book. I'm gonna destroy you in my book. How about that? During your trying, it's the latest. Look at the voice. He changes though. How can that even be human? I want to use a phone. One yes, that cannot be him. Right fall share station. Okay, that Hello? might not help. That is not going to help. Open this. We cannot shoot him. He's coming inside. No way. Oh no, he's gonna break me inside here. This dude is gonna break me. Holy macaroni. Oh my goodness. This guy's gonna break me in here in pieces just because I didn't pay my rent. He killed me. I should have jumped out. Your health will slowly recharge if you can avoid taking damage. Okay, switch weapons otherwise or throw a boss. I think I'm supposed to jump. Yes. That's what happens when you don't pay your mortgage, guys. You guys gotta pay your. Where do I go? Can I go through here? There we go. I'm jumping out. I'm jumping out. Oh, what the? Oh. Oh, here we go. Hey, wait. Oh, yeah. You're gonna get it now, buddy. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's what you get, buddy. Hurry up. I 
never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Reach the gas station. Okay. Sorry guys, somebody was calling me. I just barely noticed it. Oh, what? Can I jump? Wait. I'm so close to the light. You missed my friend. Can he get nearby here? Oh, damn. I guess he can. Okay, we have this. Oh, damn. We have the light. Okay, I gotta be careful, man. We don't have a lot of... Who's that lady? I think we're leaving the story. Yeah, we're leaving the story in, in real life? No, no, no. Below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Okay, we gotta go this way, right? Is that lady who... Uh, she, I think she's gonna... We can't go through here. Chalice. We got our... Was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. What? So he wrote... He wrote... A book about somebody who's stalking him. As maybe I don't know, because he's a writer. He wanted the autograph. Maybe, maybe he's really famous. If I jump in here, is there consequences? Wait, there's something up there. I can probably go through here. And just go around. There's a briefcase in here. What is this? Oh, that's a book. I won't be able to go through that side, though. Damn, I don't want to go through the water. That's going to kill me. I'm pretty sure it's going to kill me. Let's go. Let's not go. <laughs> okay, well. There is no map, right? No, there's no map. No, no, no. I don't see no... What the hell was that? Unless when I can go I to the... the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. See, there's that part. That part right there. I can probably use this area and go through here. But how is that even gonna... How is that even possible? I see that tree right there. Oh, actually, that'll work. Here they come. <laughs> hey, wait. What are you doing, dude? Where I go, I want something special to eat. Stucky was still out there. I want something special to eat. Oh, nice. So we get some goodies on the way. We got 24 bullets. So the game is pretty basic. I like basic guys sometimes. Oh hey, wait. Oh yeah? Oh hey, wait! It looks like you missed my friend. Oh I forgot to tell you that I took some classes from the Matrix. Oh no no no. I gotta get up in here. Get up! I made it. 
You already know, guys. So I'm the type of guy that if I can keep the bullets, I'm gonna keep them. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Sure. Let's figure this out. Oh, nice, nice. That is not gonna help. There was no power. There was <laughs> bound to be a generator somewhere. You wrote your place. story, write it right. Find the generator. I see it. I can go upstairs. For what? Oh, they're gonna follow me. Here we go. Ay! Ay, wait! Ah, oh, no, they kill me. I keep forgetting. I'm pressing L2 instead of R, uh, L1 to, uh, to dodge. I don't know why. Like, instead of dodging like this, I'm actually pressing this. Like, I, it's going to take me a minute to get the hang of it, but that's what I was doing wrong. All right, so we, I like it. They give you the checkpoint as you're going. Sometimes... There was no power. checkpoints are good. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Should I kill these guys? There's the generator right there, right? But as soon as they, these guys see, okay, this guy's getting tired though. All right, let's kill these guys. Wait. You missed, my friend. Oh, wait! No! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Ah! Oh. Hurry up, dude! The reload, it takes so long! Oh, perfect. I would've never made it the first time, no way. I like the action, the action is pretty cool. Matrix time! What is this? Can I get some stuff in here? more part of the books let me see what it says the taken stood before me it was impossible to focus on it as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease it was bleeding shadows like ink underwater like a cloud of blood from a shark bite i was terrified i squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it willing it to stop coming any closer suddenly something gave and the light seemed to shine brighter I, I, this is nice. You get to get the whole missing page. I heard them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Oh, those were the things that we saw earlier, right? Those birdie birds? I think those were the birdie birds. All right, so we good now. That reload, and it takes a long time. I gotta get better for sure. Right here. That should be fine, right? That should be fine. Now the problem is... Oh, here it is. Oh, I was wondering why... Was the ladder in there, first of all? I, I, I thought it was gonna, like, gonna be like to fight them to some point. I thought it was gonna be for that. Yay! 
Ah, oh, perfect. I always do this kind of stuff. I always do this. I s <laughs> He's happy because he didn't make it. Dude, this is your story, bro. You're supposed to make it in there, you know? There we go. We made it through. Yes! We made it through. Checkpoint reach. Reach the gas station. Well, we've been doing this gas station for like the longest. How far is this gas station? Shotgun. Dude, we got a shotgun now. No. A radio? I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night I Dude, we're gonna have different type of guns. Probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and we We missed We missed a gun. Still the sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Two listeners now. Should I go this way? There's like this, I wish I wasn't wait, I mean, it's pointing me somewhere in here, guys. Can I get the shotgun? Wait, what? Wait, what's that? Oh no, it's a flare gun. That'll work though. But we still got bullets for a shotgun. Apparently, we're gonna get some shotgun bullets. All right, yellow arrows are good. I repeat, yellow arrows are good. Now, if I press the script to read this, do I, I don't get attack, right? Okay, I don't. At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. No, those are the pretty press. Wait, find pages? At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. How do you save Alice if it's... I don't know. If it's not real. <laughs> should I not, should I, I probably shouldn't say that. Was closer now. But that's kind of what it seems like. Oh, there's those voices. Oh, let's turn this on. Turn it on. Turn it on. I wait behind you, dude. Light. Light. Follow, follow instructions. Follow instructions, dude. You can't get close to the light. You guys got to remember the book that I wrote. You guys can't go further than this, all right? The problem is, once I leave this area, I'm in big danger too, though. That's a problem. I'm saying this right now. But as soon as I get out, I'm going to get attacked by these guys. I got to get good at that. Good at doing that kind of stuff, because I know there's going to be more. This is kind of like a training session. Hey, wait! You miss! You suck, I mean. Get back! I, oh, don't get the book right now, dude! Oh, he got me on the butt! I'm so close! Hey, wait! So close to the light! Get to the light! Uh, I am in the light. Uh, what is this? Savings? Kind of like a location we can actually... I like the rules. <laughs> the rules are good. I take a break. There's breaks. There's breaks in this game. Yes, there are breaks. Break surf? No way, that thing's gonna go right behind me. All these characters? Oh no. 
The villagers are gonna attack me! We have too many of them! Too many of them! Open this! Chalice! No light. No light. I'll take this. We got 18 batteries, which is good. Wow, you... Oh, look at this! Turn on the TV. <laughs> I, need a, I need a break. Nice. Oh, perfect. The Twilight Zone. Just perfect in my story. <laughs> oh, nice springs. <laughs> okay, that makes a lot Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real... That's our character. He's kidding, right? Please, please, stay calm. There is... No risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. There's gonna be a Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen. He's gonna pull that. Point is, <gasps> one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fool. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Fell in his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs. Damn, that was horrible, man. That was really horrible. Damn. That's where you gotta check your connections, man. It's important to know what you're doing. What did I just do? All right, let's get. Let's... Somebody's what? Boss
gonna get me? Do I gotta get every single one of these guys? Oh, behind me! Oh no, right behind me, guys. He was right behind me. I don't want to do this, guys, but we're going to have to, yeah, go for battle with these guys. We're going to have to. There's a lot of these guys. Let me see what we got in here. I'm just going to destroy a few of these guys. We have the big rifle. I think we're going to throw the flare. Get them all together. There's a cop, get my coffee. Oh, wait. Got him. What is this? What did I do in there? Got him. I think I got a... <laughs> this thing is taking forever to open. <laughs> I am out of here. It's still coming right behind me, right? I wasted my whole... I got some sort of reward for doing that, though. I recognize the parade... I recognize the reindeer. Falls ...when I first arrived with Alice. <laughs> He's not gonna talk about the reindeer. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness... The lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. The way he talks and the way he... Oh, no. Reach to the station. Oh, we can go through here, all right? At least we got some light. This feels good. Nice and warm. <laughs> feels good for a little bit. There's a page in here. Let's read this. Let's read your own paper. Your own story, my friend. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Oh, one thing that I forgot to say, guys. So, remember, this is kind of getting tricky. Because remember, he said at some other part of the... Well, not part of the... How can I say this? Before he went to the cabin with the girl, right? Remember he forgot the keys, but then somehow he got inside or he got inside the cabin. If he had no keys, how he got inside the cabin? That's what makes no sense. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right, I'll keep writing. Outside there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel the presence in the dark. Wow. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. If I stop, she's... Just... It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? As a writer, that's kind of what it sounds like. He says, if I do something like that girl that he has, it's a made up. Let's use a phone. We need some help. Rainfall Sheriff Station. Oh no, we're gonna get arrested. We caught the cops. We're gonna get arrested. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker. You are I'm Alan Wake. But listen, I was in a car crash. My wife Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there. It's on his mind. Like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station. Okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed, she wouldn't believe it. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. It's nice how they moved that camera.
she's gonna push us to the... I'm just joking, guys. Maybe there is not even a cop in there, who knows? There was no bridge. But somehow, some way, we were there. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? She looks like the cop. I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. We're gonna go back? Three years ago? Are you serious? There was no Kevin Moon. Man, this game is gonna be. I better not get lost. It sounds like when he was getting. When he was getting that phone from Hi, the. I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on, it'll warm you up. Switch on the coffee maker. What I was gonna say, when he was with that guy at the at, well, with the girl right on the boat itself, I think he was getting a call, but I think it was from a specialist team. I don't know, I could be wrong. It could be from a specialist team, from a case manager, or the clinic itself, or somebody who is actually taking care of him with his uh, psychological problems, if you wanna say that. I don't know, that's kind of what it seems to me. I could be wrong. All right, switch on the coffee maker. Hey, handsome. This is gonna be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Yeah, at least this guy's trying to do something. <laughs> what about the other game that we ended up playing, uh, Fierce or Phantom, where that guy didn't want to do it? <laughs> I know I shouldn't be talking about this. I know I shouldn't. I'm playing another game. I don't know why I have the tendency of talking about other games when I'm not even supposed to. I'm not even playing it. And I'm still Coffee's talking about on. it. Great. Thanks. I'll need it if I'm going to finish this by tomorrow. What about a ketchup? You want some ketchup so you can catch up into your work? Do you need some ketchup? <laughs> Go to Alice. Oh, hey. I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Wow. I guess that's our book. What do you want me to do? That's my book. I know that's my book. Let me see what we got in here. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Uh-oh. Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. Again. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Okay, so Please that's... Hurry. That's I'm the right guy. Here, so, okay, I'm wrong. What I was thinking, look, she's afraid of dark. And I think that's why we, I think, I think there is no woman. I think that's our character. He built that character himself on his own life. All right, all right. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. 
Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just There's no such thing as stupid, okay, for, woman? You know? Okay, there is. It gets to me. I love you. Hey. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. Okay, he <clears throat> she just said why I there was these nightmares when I was just... a kid. The dark really spooked me too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Okay, all that fear just went away. All that fear just went away, I guess. Bright Falls, the present day. Because we go back. They kind of want to tell us. Mr. Wick, any I'm going to keep going back and forth. Anything like that. Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Hmm. I feel like I was right behind him. I could just do a garage shot right down the back of the neck, guys. <laughs> I don't know why I don't know I don't trust none of these guys I don't trust I, I don't trust my own story thank you for testing the lights Miss Weaver everything seems to be fine I don't have the luxury of being complacent if you will all right let's talk to her let's see what she says your phone's on the desk the battery was dead oh no now. They checked my data. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? There is no How cabin. How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd locked me up. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. I need to take this. I think he sounds like me. Sometimes I repeat myself a lot. Hello? <laughs> he said Alice, that twice or three times. Help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who is this? Uh-oh. Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Meet Mr. Ray, can I help you with anything? Don't do nothing stupid, pal. Watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of hey, course, Mr. Wake. You can hey, get there through the cell corridor. I need more light in here. So someone has hey, what? Hey, mister. Hey, what Mr. Baldy? The light. The on. No. The deputies, they won't they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I I need it to be bright in here. Wait, we gotta what about we were in prison? Let me let me see. Why is there a page in here in spite of its human mask to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman nonetheless it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough some light spilled into the corridor ravaging it but it took the pain horrible as it was the writer would soon fix that he would be coming to the one place where it still had power hmm. i was just wondering why is there a a note or part of a book in here the light hurt my eyes and made my head ache the man on the phone had said go through the fence on the left it's a setup 
I I personally don't think this woman exists. I personally don't think so. There's a note over there on the other side. I think this is all made up. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. There is no hole. Oh, maybe I can jump this. Jump it. He's there. But he won't. Okay. Can I move this? Super strength of a kick. Damn, I'm missing a lot of this stuff. A lot of these papers and... The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the hmm. shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mass blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? So this... That's gonna happen. So we are gonna get to him to some point, right? Taken. We're gonna be focusing on the girl. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. The caller is gonna be the guy. It's gonna be our own friend. I forgot. T could it be Tucker? Or what is it? Tucker or whatever. Can I squeeze through the veins? Examine the bunker. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Wait, what? Why is Barry even calling to this phone out of nowhere? That don't make any sense. Just a random phone, Barry's gonna call. Sure. Exit the sheriff's station. Okay, so we're out of here. Then this is a chance we gotta... Had to talk to the sheriff. Reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. What? That'll make <laughs> his. I just wanted to settle all the This is made up. And brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable. Oh my goodness! For the love of God, he's kind of like. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about. Am I under arrest? No, of course not. That's a guy. I know where you'll be staying, so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where. Oh. Hey, <laughs> take it easy. Barry? Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What just happened? What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. 
Oh I man, to talk I'm to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed <laughs> that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? <laughs> what, what a character. I, I... Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Do you and understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're Damn. buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. <laughs> and that's where that's what I think too. I think he's getting confused with reality and 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 fiction on on his books. That's that's what I think. And the problem is how do you get an I mean how am I gonna I'm not gonna know what's real and what's real because he's the one he's the writer and the producer at this point <laughs> he's the writer and the producer easy there boy I'm almost done hey Rusty, talk to Rusty right? you run cabins oh Mr. Wake I'd shake your hand but mine are kind of full here actually I'm sorry about this would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk it's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. Al, you can't just go and meet life. a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. Is this right here? You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. Why he You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you try to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha-ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. I was gonna say, can Rusty be real? But then he did enter that building and everybody saw him. So Rusty must be. I was barely gonna say, Rusty must not be real. But then... Yeah, but I don't know. He did into that uh, location and not beat the guy, but we beat the guy. But everybody saw him entering the location. If that makes any sense. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you stay here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths. You'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. All right. Thank you, buddy. Better fix that dog. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. All right. Oh, like and hey, if you take a walk in the woods, watch your steps so you don't end up like Max. I guess I'm a little worried. We got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. It's not like <laughs> these people are on a schedule, but with the traps, well, you know, I just don't want any trouble. Right. Thanks. And there we go over there. Take care of my doggy for me, buddy. Make sure he's well. <laughs> Make sure you give him food. I might adopt that dog when I come back. Depending on how you take care of him. You're you know what? I want a bear instead. Shot a dude who went poof into thin air, 
A guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, <coughs> strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with too long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Al, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you it's gotta to believe. me a bone here, bestseller. Mm -hmm. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh -huh. Could Barry be alive? Could I mean, a character? Maybe no one entered that building, guys. I don't know. I don't know why I think Barry might not be a, a real character. I'm gonna be saying my own things, guys. Prepare for that, cause that's what I do in these type of games. We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, <laughs> Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Achoo! Hey, for lovers, peak. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Mm. Bless you. I have seven. Trying to kill me. I bet there's mold in here, spores. <laughs> this guy. What? <laughs> so not worth a fifteen percent commission. He's complaining about everything as soon as he got inside or it's been on our case That's what I mean, I don't think I want his help at this point But I, I have more batteries than this. I don't know why I got Let me see if I can turn the lights off for this guy. Go to sleep, buddy <laughs> He didn't say anything Mr. Paul didn't say anything. All right, let's go I have more batteries than seven. Let me see. I don't even have a weapon. Wait, why are they taking my weapons? Say, okay, now I'm getting back. I'll be with you on spirit. Thanks a lot. Your spirit means a lot to me. Your spirit means a lot to me. Okay, there's a letter in here. Let's pick this up. Barry doubts wait sadly. Barry oh. had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. What? Barry had never got along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved with the almost frightening intensity and now something had happened to Alice Oak. Okay, I got it all wrong. Oh, I, that is, I don't know. It's gonna get I bad in here. I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. Wait, so he, he's saying that if Barry would have never showed up, he probably would have done what's right? That don't make any sense. <laughs> Barry, it's because of Barry that he didn't call it. Cops? Oh, no, 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 no. Light, 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 light. Should I enter this location? Look at this.
we got a radio in here. Let's turn it off. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your dear I wonder if we should be checking some of this stuff. You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seen. Like, not check this stuff, but check, like, the surroundings and see if we can find any other weapons. Is it, like, mandatory? That's what I'm trying to say. Because, I mean, you don't upgrade, right? I don't think you... It doesn't seem like it's a game where you're going to be upgrading. It seems like a game where they're going to be chasing the hell out of me. <laughs> that's that's kind of what it seems like at this point. And not only that, but you cannot kill these guys just, like, with the bullet itself. You got to flash them first. Then you kill... So there's another one. It's... There's another one in here. Whoa. Whoa, there's blood on this one. A perfect square blood, though. <laughs> Not just blood. No batteries or nothing. And no clothing. And I think this person is out there with naked. Oh, not that again. Should we watch this? The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish. Especially in night springs. Is it the same video? Tonight's episode. The man in the mirror. Dude, guys, the more I see this stuff, the more I feel like with He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. He's a weird one. He's Hold on. So you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it's coming? Yeah, but well, why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? Now, that sentence really throws, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? That looks like Barry. Didn't like his face? Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. Barry. Then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh, how about that? Hmm. Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. The white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. Oh, that's why he's wearing that red sweater. Do you think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? I left my mark. Believe me. Oh. So Barry, that's Barry, right? That's kind of what it seems to me. Barry is a, is a killer. Did he suffer double identity? It's the same guy. Who he was talking to on that tape. Well, apparently he's a killer. That's all I know. I don't know why the other guy just got up all of, all of a sudden. Checkpoint reach. What is this? Well, I guess we're doing a lot of reading. But the good thing is I'm not doing any reading. They are. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell. As if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake. It happened just the way it was on that page. <sighs> I 
so we are I, we have a killer helping us I guess I don't know why Alan is not I don't know why Alan is not remembering his own stories for the love of God Disappear. There's no one in there. Help, help, me. help Rusty. Anyone, please help. Help me. Hello? Back here. I'm back here. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights in the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever Wait, what? Couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. See, I'm telling you, that guy is a killer. It was this guy was Barry. What happened to my doggy? Hold on, I'm not. <gasps> my doggy is alive. Shh. At least my doggy is is safe. I mean, I'm sorry for the cop, but yeah, my, I need to take that doggy back home. He needs a place to stay. The only not like this area right here. Was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. So there's obviously according to the according to him we got to be protected by the lights. Damn, we going to I think we might fight Barry at this point. At the last instant I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Hmm. They're all talking about the dark and light. This, that's a for sure thing. All right, let's get out of here. Man, I can't believe that dude got hurt. Like, that this happened like in a little bit of time. Qu he couldn't keep up with my writing. There's more writing right here. Wow, there's a lot of writing. The oh, this is first. Sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far <laughs> wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Felt Oof. the broken ribs stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Oh, <laughs> they're telling us. I mean, it's pretty obvious that he got hurt. I don't think he's faking that part. Rusty's like, why did you write this story like where I'm going to get hurt? Like, if I know who's my writer, you better believe I'm going to go and communicate with that writer and make sure my story is done right. And, and, and anyway, anyways, guys, if you guys know who's my writer, can you guys let me know, please, on my Instagram to make sure my my story is actually, I don't want to get hurt like this guy, especially, I don't want my doggy to serve, to have a better or longer life than I did. It's going to surpass my life, my own doggy. Just the same weapon. That was too late. Oh Someone no way! Destroyed the circuit breaker. We can use no the X. The lights back. Oh on. no, we can. <gasps> so, when he attacked them. Rusty. It's Barry. I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna be too late. Something got him killed. Was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. <laughs> It was this guy? 
You're gonna get it, buddy. Dude, I gotta kill them? Ooh, got me. There's somebody behind me or something. Ah. It's already too late though. Way too late. What? Look at the size. You know what, Rusty? I don't think I can save you at this point. Don't feed the animals. It's something way bigger. Look at the size of this. This is something. He became one of them. He became one of them. Oh, he's way faster though. Rusty. I am the writer. I can eliminate you. Don't make me do this, Rusty. Don't make me do this, Rusty. I don't have a... I have six more. Rusty. Hey, wait. I wasted another one by accident. I don't think he wants to fight. He might be at He might be on my side. Got you now. Rusty, go ahead and disappear, my friend. Can you disappear? Disappear. Come on. Now you see the light under the thin layer of skin. <laughs> Can you see the light, my friend? No. Something else just happened. He brought more friends. They s you guys suck at throwing. I don't know where you, who taught you how to throw. But I can throw way better. Actually, no. Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> Gotcha. You can't do anything. I can control you. I made your story and I can destroy your story, my friend. That was kind of like a boss fight, if you want to say, right? That was a nice boss fight, I think. I thought I was going to be fighting like some sort of bear or something. Reach lover's peak. So once I I feel like I was moving forward, but I never. It took me like a long time to get to reach lover's peak. Even I don't know what just happened, because this was that, this was the main goal, right? To go to here, but then somehow, some way, we ended up doing other stuff that. that? Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. I think Barry's gonna be... I think Barry is the main killer. But it's... he knows that Alan is actually lost and confused. So he's gonna take advantage of that, if that makes any sense. And I want a soda pop right now. Let's write, let, let me see. No, let's read this, let's see what it says. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens, but she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Wow. Hmm. 
I guess we're gonna find out more about this guy, right? Is that the reason why we ended up killing him on the story? They don't give him a reason, man, Alan, to kill him on the story, dude. Poor guy. Rusty was a good dude, man. He was trying to help that dog. Rusty was a nice guy. You just had to kill him on the story, dude. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. There's stuff... Okay, there's stuff on that side, but... Is there any weapons in here? I should probably be checking for more weapons, guys. Hey, what about if I'm not even... Checking for... I mean, if I get affected, if I don't... If I don't have any upgrades. Not upgrades, but a different type of weapons. Because we lost the weapons. Look at this. We don't have any more weapons. So I don't know if this is a bad thing. Obviously, it's a bad thing, right? I should not even be saying that. Oh, I'm surrounded! Now, this is a bad thing. This is considered... A really bad thing, Charles. Oh no! Wait a minute, dude! What the hell? I need to go to that bridge. Wait. Gotcha, Charles. They're getting closer. Oh, he got me. Got one of them. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. They don't leave any sort of light. They don't leave anything. That's the thing about this game. You kill these characters and there's no reward. There's no such thing as a reward. There's no such thing as you get bullets. There's no such thing you get life. But the benefit is that you're able to regenerate. That's which is good. You can regenerate. So that's a plus in the book if that makes any sense. All I know we need some cardio is going to get really bad in here. Oh! I'm just gonna run it, guys. That's a huge guy! Let me see. Yes! It, damn, this guy is way bigger than the other guys. Wait, wait. No. This guy could have been... Oh. Wait. Damn it. Settle down, guys. This is... Guys. I'm almost close. I'm close to the light. I'm closer to the light. Ay, wait, look at this guy. Holy macabre. Ay, wait. I died. That dude was so huge. I put this guy as a boss fight, really. They really should have. This guy is, seems like he's way stronger than the one. Than the other guy. And I feel like I'm not even doing a lot of damage as I am pointing. As I'm pointing the flashlight, it doesn't seem I'm doing any damage. What? Ah, oh, he still got me. Son of a gun. Got him. Look at the lights. He went down. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. You're gonna get it now. Come on! Damn, that was more like a boss fight than anything. Where's the... There's a... Wait. You can actually make it in here and get this on time. But this... I don't know. And I could have... It's impossible. Those guys take a lot of... I mean, they're going to be chasing you so bad. I couldn't do it. Maybe you can. I just wasn't able to do it. Let me see what we got in here. I 
turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. Hmm. Who's that someone? He's right. That's... That's kind of scary, man. It's all about darkness so far. What does he mean by the light and the darkness? It's like, that's the main thing. He's just saying that a lot over and over. I mean, that only tells me in a way that we are the bad guys. And we're not able to see the light. Because for what we did. I don't know. Maybe I'm exaggerating. We can't see the light as we are trapped in the dark. Cause, or maybe we, or maybe we're writing, we're writing our own story. Because that's the way he wants to. I don't know. As a writer, you're writing your own story because you feel, because maybe because of guilt. Could be guilt. I don't know. It could be guilt or not, guys. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna call it a day, guys. That guy chasing me. was too much of a stress plus i think i've been in the game for like over an hour i think so somewhere around there i'm not 100 percent sure but i think i already did my time guys i'm not gonna lie i went i went pretty far i went pretty far for i mean for being the first day i did okay i, I believe so after i got a freaking tackled by a football player like that guy i need a break after that anyways guys thank you guys for supporting the channel guys i'll see you guys hasta mañana guys thank you guys